In this video, we're going to go over a type of depressive disorder called major depressive disorder. To begin, you should know that depressive disorders are mood disorders characterized by periods of sadness and depressive mood without episodes of mania. The last part of the definition, without episodes of mania, is actually really important. And that's because patients who experience both depressive episodes and manic episodes have bipolar disorder, not depressive disorder. This means that individuals who experience depressive episodes do not necessarily have depressive disorder. They have to experience depressive episodes without manic episodes to have depressive disorder. Okay. Now, there are several types of depressive disorders. In major depressive disorder, individuals experience major depressive episodes, which are persistent feelings of sadness and despair. Because it's described as major, the symptoms are quite severe, and this is in contrast to other depressive disorders, such as dysthymia, which is also called persistent depressive disorder, where they also experience sadness and despair, but over a longer time period and with less severe symptoms. Okay. The symptoms of major depressive disorder are emotional, behavioral, and cognitive. Emotional symptoms include dysphoria, which is the opposite of euphoria, and is the feeling of unease and discontent. It also includes onhedonia, which is the loss of ability to experience pleasure. So an example would be a person who usually really enjoys running, but with onhedonia, when they run, they no longer experience pleasure. And we also have a sense of hopelessness as an emotional symptom. Behavioral symptoms include insomnia, so these individuals have a tough time falling asleep or staying asleep. You have fatigue or loss of energy, social withdrawal, so these individuals stop interacting with other individuals or they try to avoid those interactions, attempted suicide, and decreased or increased appetite that results in significant weight loss or weight gain. Cognitive symptoms include excessive worry, feelings of worthlessness or inappropriate guilt, suicidal thoughts, and decreased ability to make decisions. You can see there are quite a lot of different symptoms. An individual with major depressive disorder doesn't have to have all of these symptoms. However, for LAMCAT, you do have to be able to associate these symptoms with major depressive disorder. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell icon for notifications. We release new videos every week covering the highest yield content on the MCAT. Plus, you can check out the video description for links to useful resources like our MCAT Prep mobile application.